Hi friends, I am Nirav Kothari. Today I am going to talk about how to achieve scalability and high availability in Cloud SQL. Let me talk about scaling as a general topic for any database instances. When we talk about scaling, there are two types of scaling. One is vertical scaling and another one is horizontal scaling. Vertical scaling is nothing but expanding your RAM and CPU cores which means you are only modifying the hardware of the database. Whereas horizontal is, uh, there are actually two types. You are actually adding more computation power to, the, uh, to your database and usually in terms of more number of machines. Now, horizontal scaling can also be divided into two parts. One is master-slave architecture and another is sharding. Well, master-slave architecture is where master replicates all of its data to a slave instance. And you can have n number of slave instance depending on your requirement. So usually slaves are used only for reading the data from the database and master is used to write the data. Master can be used for read as well as write, whereas slave is only used for reading of the data. Any data which is written to the master will be eventually replicated in slaves as well. Whereas sharding is partitioning your table. Usually if you have billions of records in the table, you think about uh, partitioning your table into multiple partitions and these partitions are spread across multiple nodes in the cluster. And each node is responsible only to uh, responsible only for that data. So if a query is being fired, that query will be uh, forwarded or routed to the right partition based on the query. The logic of uh, routing the queries is actually built outside the nodes, usually in proxies or master nodes. Now let's look at how do we implement the scaling in Cloud SQL. So Cloud SQL does support vertical scaling as you go. So you may start with a, a lower in database instance and then you can keep on increasing as your data increases. Uh, Cloud SQL also supports horizontal scaling in terms of master slave replication. So you start with one uh, instance and you can create read replicas for it so that all your read queries are split across multiple uh, uh, nodes uh, so that you eventually achieve reading scaling. Uh, there's also automated storage expansion. So if say for example, at the start of uh, instance, you created, you reserved a storage of 10 GB and when you are nearing your capacity, it will automatically expand your storage. Now, this is how in general a read replica works. Okay, let's say if you have one instance and you have created two read replicas for that instance, this is how it will look like. Okay, your application will be connecting to this cloud SQL through some sort of proxy. Now, proxy. Uh, will expose only one IP address. So your application will only have to, uh, will all consider proxy as just one database. At the backend side, proxy will forward the request to multiple nodes as defined in the rule engine. Usually in this rule engine, the write queries are forwarded to master nodes, whereas all the read queries, most of them are forwarded to uh, read replicas and some of the uh, uh, read requests are also forward to master nodes. Now, even if one read replica goes down, you have other read replicas or master node to answer your read queries. So in a way, you are achieving a high availability for your read workload. But what if your master goes down? You don't have any read replicas usually want support writing capabilities. 
So you need some way by which you can achieve high availability for right workloads as well. And that's where the high availability options of cloud SQL come into picture. So what happens in high availability is cloud SQL will set up a standby instance, usually in a different zone. Okay. It could be in same region. Now, uh, so that even if a one master uh, uh, instance goes down, immediately the failover replica will take up, uh, take the charge and it will start act, acting as a master node. The read replica will continue to be as is. Now here we should not misunderstand uh, standby instance as a read replica. They are two completely different uh, 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 concepts. Okay, uh, and to achieve high availability in Cloud SQL, you don't have to do much. It's just a one-click option in Cloud SQL. This is how usually it will work in when you uh, configure your instance with high availability and replication. So your application is running here and it is connecting to your primary instance of Cloud SQL, which might be running in zone A, for example. You might have your read replica in zone B and your standby instance is probably running on in zone C. Now your client application connects to primary instance and read replica through uh, two different IP addresses. Now let's say if primary instance goes down or becomes unavailable, then immediately the standby instance will take the charge and that will become our primary instance and that will form a connection between primary instance and read replica. So uh, basically the standby instance has now become a new primary. The IP address will still remain the same so that your client application doesn't see any change. Now, anytime in future, if original primary instance comes uh, up or becomes available, that won't become your primary automatically. It will still remain as a standby instance. Now, what are the advantages of implementing this way? You know, you are achieving a high availability which means that it will automatically switch the primary instance in case of failover. By doing this, you are actually minimizing your RTO and RPO. You are also implementing scaling for your read capacity without affecting your performance. You can implement your read replicas in uh, various different regions which means that you are bringing you are bringing your data closer to your users you can also uh, have benefit of data recovery in case our data goes our server crashes or data is corrupted you can recover your instance because uh, cloud sql automatically takes the backup at regular interval now let's talk about some of the use cases where this can be used any application where it needs high read traffic, okay, and eventual consistency is fine, then probably this setup of having one uh, high availability uh, uh, cloud SQL instance with red replica would work. If you have a high write traffic, then probably you might have to think differently. You can use this setup to migrate data between the regions also. You can think of it as a way to migrate your data from on-premise to DB, uh, on-premise to uh, Cloud SQL or vice versa. There are, you can also use it for a dedicated uh, instance for serving your analytics workload. So, with this, I would like to give you a small demo of how to achieve high availability and scaling. So this is my cloud SQL instance. I have already created a demo instance. Now I'm going to open this instance and move to replicas. 
to create a read replica for this instance. So it will ask me certain information like what is the ID and where do I want to create this read replica and I'll keep it to single soon. I can, I can specify a different configuration for my uh, read replica and I can just click on the create and that will create my read replica. It will take around uh, three to four minutes to create this. I'll just pause my video till then. Okay, so my read replica is now created. It took around two to three minutes, but now read replica is available. So we can have a look at it by going to the main screen. And now it says that for demo to instance, I have one demo to replica instance as well. Now this is how you can how this is how you can actually create the replicas, read replicas, but it is still not a highly available system. To make it highly available, you can simply click on this add button and it will create a failover replica for your instance. It will take another two, three minutes to uh, implement this and I will pause my video again. Thank you. Okay, so with this, our demo to instance is now highly available SQL instance. But it is very important that after making it highly available, you test out the standby instance. And to do that, you can just go into the page and click on this fail over. So with this command, the primary instance is now becoming a, a standby instance and the standby instance is now becoming a primary. That's all that I have for today's demo. I hope I could help you with uh, how easy it is to implement highly available and scalable SQL instance on GCP. Thank you so much.